Hey, young world, it's Midday the Sue Solo. We're on Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9 Best Friend. We are talking to Robin Thicke, honey. It's all things R&B. It's all things love. It's all things <laughs> I know what to do. Uh, you got a new single out. Can you tell the people a little bit about what do you know what to do? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, it's so nice to see you, Sue Solo. You Thank look lovely you. today. Uh, yeah, so my new song is called I Know What To Do, and it's pretty much about when you meet somebody who's got all of that and everything and mm. all the mo and mm. woo woo and the wee. Oh. And <laughs> so when when she's got all of that, you know, I'm, I know what to do with all of that. Oh, okay, when she got it. Okay, so you're on tour with Boys to Men right now. What has been, like, the craziest moment being on tour? Uh, you know, nowadays with I mean, a boy band. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's it's pretty much like just your day at the office for me. You know what I mean? I I come in, I I do my job. My band and I, we've been doing this together for so long. Yeah. We we don't need much rehearsal. We just do a quick little mm-hmm. sound check. Maybe try to write a new song when we're jamming and sound check. Like and then it's just you know hit the stage, do our thing, and and uh, go get dinner and some, you know hit the bar with the band afterwards. It's pretty pretty. Myth- uh, Methodical, you okay. know what I mean. It ain't ain't after all these years. It ain't none, it ain't nothing like it was the first few tours. You or whatever, done done it you know? all. At <laughs> yeah. This we, point. <laughs> so are you? Performing? I, I know what to do with all that. Includes I know when to go to bed. Uh, you know. Okay. What I mean? <laughs> that part. That part. So are you actually performing the new single on this tour as well? So fans um, already. You know, I've been teasing it. I've been teasing okay. it. Yeah, we're gonna we we might incorporate it because we only have a few more shows on this tour. We'll incorporate it on on the next run. But right now, I'm just kind of teasing it at the end of the night. So it, it's been what nearly ten years since we've heard from Robin Thicke. Well, I did have on on the uh, uh, main scale on the uh, you know um, mainstream more. I did have uh, some records on uh, mm-hmm. adult R and B that did well. You know adult what I mean? Adult R and B. Yeah, because yeah, that's actually where I first broke. You know, okay. Lost Without You first started on adult on Urban AC Radio. So most of my songs uh, play there. I don't think I've ever heard adult R&B, but that makes <laughs> so much sense. So at a time where I feel like a lot of people are actually kind of questioning the integrity of R&B, like yeah. how does that, I guess, inspire you to make the type of music that you make? You know, I I think that when you're making music, you should always focus on timelessness. You know what I mean? And that means it doesn't matter what year it is or, or, or um, what trend is going yeah. on, you know. And I heard a great theory that, when some, as soon as people say, "Oh, that's that is washed up," or "That sound is over," and, and nobody's doing that anymore, that means that there's a marketplace for it. That means mm-hmm. it's it's an untouched market. So if you do it right and you and you you know you connect with, back with that fan base, then that means there's a big opening there. You know, mm-hmm. I know what to do. People can hear it pretty much now. Yeah, right? no streaming, download it's a, it's available on all platforms, Spotify, and we got Apple the remix Apple. coming uh, with Dream Doll uh, in the next week or two. Right? Is it next week? So we're expecting <coughs> a full-bodied album. Yes. Oh, Valentine's it's, Day. Oh, it's full-bodied, baby. Full-bodied. Okay. <laughs> full-bodied. Okay. Valentine's Day 2025. Why Valentine's yes. Day? Well, because it's, uh, you know, most of my songs gravitate towards either love or, you know, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Love. Faith <laughs> or, or faith-based, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But most of it is about relationships and, and trying to to uh, make a great life for me and my partner and my family and, and myself, you know. Are you in love these days? I just heard me and my partner. Yeah, you have, yeah, I got, uh, you know, three kids with uh, April Love Geary. Shout yeah. out to April. And uh, we're planning to get married next year. Come on. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So does she ever, like, tone it down when you're performing these love songs and these women are screaming at you? Tone it down, Robin. Oh, no, no. She, she <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe when I'm not on stage. When but not when <laughs> No, no, she's she's uh, uh, wonderful and very supportive in every way. You're doing something really cool in Atlanta today. Something with Slutty Vegan. Uh, yeah, and no, that today? was yesterday. Yeah, you already yesterday. did it. We did it yesterday. I yeah, we did my it. Robin Thick Burger. You did. You missed your thick meal with Slutty no. Sauce. <laughs> so sad. Maybe I can just. Yeah, shout out to today. Pinky and uh, Slutty Vegan. We had a great time yesterday giving out free thick meals to the community, and uh, we I had a love great it. time. Yeah. Were you calling the people sluts when they walked in? I do. I did not. Okay. No, that's just okay. not part of my vocabulary. <laughs> But uh, they were, uh, it was frequently heard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where can people keep up with Robin Thicke? Like, is there a website? Yeah, Instagram? you know, Instagram for sure is usually the uh, main platform that we use. And, um, you know, and uh, what else? Oh, TikTok also, yeah. T- oh, TikTok. you're on the TikTok? Yeah, TikTok. So you get your recipes and stuff? A TikTok. Thi- a TikTok. <laughs> 
Child, you might have. You got to check out the TikTok. <laughs> well, apparently TikTok might be going away, so TikTok might need to supplement. Oh, it's like, okay. You know, we'll, we'll, there'll be some other <laughs> format that we'll tackle. <laughs> Are there any upcoming R&B artists that just get you really excited about the direction of R&B? Yes, uh, SZA is a big inspiration for mm. me. I think lyrically, melodically, you know, she really hits home for me. And what I love about her music is it doesn't matter if my lady is listening to it or I'm listening to it. We can both h- yeah. hear her words and feel the exact same mm-hmm. journey you know what i mean yeah. the exact same connection i yeah. should say to her to her journey and i just think she's incredible she i really would say you both me. are like great storytellers i think when people think of robin think like you just know you're gonna listen to some music and you're gonna feel what he's saying because he's really painting the picture like yeah. I had to listen to uh, I Know What To Do a couple times, and I was just like, child, let me turn it off. Oh, thank you. Let well, me- you know, I think I think also there's there's not a lot of artists out there that um, are vulnerable or, yeah, or share yeah. their vulnerable side because we all want to celebrate being hot. We want to celebrate yeah. being wealthy. We want to celebrate having a good time. But but that's not always how life feels, and yeah. we do we do get down. We do lose faith in, in things, and... And we do struggle with things. Mm-hmm. And I think that uh, an artist like SZA and myself, we like to talk about those mm-hmm. things. We like to dig inside, share what's going on inside, yeah. and connect with people and make them feel less alone. Can we expect maybe a, a Thick and SZA collab? I'm I'm hoping for it, yeah. I'm, I'm putting it out there. Manifest, baby. Yes. Yeah, we, we all would love <laughs> But it's got to be the right song. You can't just d- do stuff. you know. So I, I'm uh, what I'm uh, planning to do is when I'm uh, putting on the finishing touches on the album, I'm going to go to her and see if there's something that excites her. That's the best way to do it is have have the body of work yeah. and uh, hopefully it inspires. It's got to be organic, yeah. and, and I know it's going to be amazing. So what else are you doing while you're in Atlanta to promote the music and the album? We're throwing a, uh, a party tonight at uh, Flow, yeah, and I'll be there around midnight, and uh, so if you come enough, you want to put on that dress, baby. Come sure, we'll up. be out there. Got solo. my table booked. What you thought this was a game? <laughs> I will definitely. You coming outside tonight? Yeah, girls' night. Oh. Oh, Ta- it, table's already booked. Oh, okay. It looks like <laughs> I, I heard that a few times today, so it looks like it's gonna be a fun night. Oh, this wasn't a joke. We were, I was serious about it. I was like, Robin is hosting a party. We gotta go. Oh, I love this. Okay, great, great. <laughs> so we will see you there. Thank you for stopping by. Um, the single, you guys. I can't wait to hear the remix. I can only imagine what Dream Doll is doing it's on fire. that remix, like the texture that she adds. Yeah, to it. she adds some flavor, man. Mm, well, we we'll see you. And tonight the video is very sexy. Thank you, Dream Doll. Shout out to Dream Doll. I love it. Thank you for coming in. Oh, it's my pleasure, Sue Solo. Thanks for having me. Say my name. And I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight. Say my name. Say my name.